What's going on guys? Landon Beckham here. Welcome to another episode of Bassin' with Beckham. Um, today is October 27th and I get the chance to take my dad fishing, which doesn't get to happen very often. Um, but it's always awesome when it does. We're going to go out to Lake Tyler and we're going to go see if we can catch some fish. So y'all stay tuned. That's a big one. What the heck is going on? Good. Ali, she spit the hook. Not a bad fish at all. Yep. Oh, that might be a little better one then. Those big ones, that's like the way they like to eat it, man. It's just, I say big one, bigger. Bigger ish. Oh, fatty. There they are. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh, oh my gosh, that was so sick. I saw that fish coming from three or four feet away. I don't know how big it is. It's a little bitty one. Well, that's a decent one. That is awesome. Decent little fish. Swing and a miss. I have absolutely. Oh, that's an acrobat. This is a four pounder, I think. Maybe a three pounder. That's a three. She's a three. Put her on the scales. Yep, that's a three pounder with a mouthful of topwater spitter. Mouthful of the old Gill Reaper. I mean, in the fall, it is literally this easy. If you find the shad, the bass are really, I mean, ghoul. Oh my, I wasn't even doing anything with that. It's literally that easy. You just find the old shad. Pops, you may need to put on a little top water spitter action here. Find the shad, you find the bass. That's a giant. Just kidding. <laughs> a bit like a giant.
that thing annihilated it. All right, about to put it on the trailer. What an afternoon of fishing. Uh, found this little creek that had a ton of shad in it and uh, started throwing some top waters later in the evening and they were just crushing it. So, cool day. Uh, I was glad to take my pops out and put them on a couple fish and uh, we're about to put it on the trailer and go grab some food. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, tonight was a lot of fun out there with my dad. Um, we probably caught about 20, 25 fish. Um, what we found was I had, uh, I had a tip from my buddy Jacob that this one creek, it was full of shad. And so we went back there to check it out and it was just loaded with shad. And um, what these bass were doing is they were like schooling them on the bank. About three or four of them would just push the balls of shad right on the shore and they just go to town and we'd throw our top waters right there around them um, and usually they just blow up just like that. Um, the baits we caught them on, um, obviously most of them were on the top water spitter. Um, that's just an amazing fall bait. Um, when these fish are just keyed in on these shad, um, it looks like a, like a shad and it looks like bass are trying to blow up on it and they just automatically just eat it. Um, we caught some more um, on a DT6 and a custom color by Gil Reaper Lure. Um, that's the one I lost the big one on earlier in the day. But other than that, it was a great night out there. Um, we caught plenty of fish, and I hope you all enjoy the video this time of year, guys. Um, the shad are going to be pushing back to the backs of some creeks, so keep an eye on that. Um, stay off the main lake and start heading back to the creeks, and you'll find success. Hope you all have a great day and tight lines. Oh.